Okay, uh, I ran across this article and I have a, a few issues with it here. Now it's saying physicists just discovered a totally new form of light. Well, maybe they have, but uh, I'm not seeing it. Alright, notice these, these patterns here, these little pop, 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 pop. Those, I believe, are the pulsations of the laser light. Now, I'm going to show you what they think they have discovered, and I think it's highly deceptive. Alright, now I'm showing this uh, under the um, Fair Use Act uh, as a commenter. Now, physicists have just discovered a new form of light. You know, I, don't, I totally disagree with what they're saying. What they're shooting in here is a laser beam, and that laser beam isn't doing this all by itself. If you look carefully, there's a layer of viscosity here. This is either denser or lighter. Well, it's obviously denser because this is on top of it. So the density layer is here and a lighter layer is here and it's bouncing off this layer and coming back down exactly as it will when it hits this surface, exactly as it does when it hits the lower surface, exactly as it does when it hits any surface. You're going through one medium into another medium and that always bends light. And the 1918 experiment uh, that proved Einstein's theory of uh, gravity around the sun was it had nothing to do with gravity. It was solar lensing, uh, thermal lensing, and that's fully understandable. The sun is a hot mass, and then you call it the cold space, and between the, the the two, you bend the light, and that's what forced that light in front of the sun. That's what I believe. Now, this I can. There's no question about this. Now watch this. You see that? Look, it's going up, it's hitting a certain... Boom, it hits that layer and it twists it. And then they jump away from it real quick. See that? Watch. Up to the top, bang, right there. See it? It's hitting this layer here and that's what's bending the light. This, however, is a whole different issue. And this is what we do is uh, Rodney's doing these experiments. Rodney Warren is doing experiments and he's using Venturi slits. And this right here is the Venturi slit. And there's two round orifice, two round pillars here. And the orifice in the center is a Venturi. And look at this. This is what we see as light discs. And that light disc is literally being compressed and forced into that venturi, and as it exits the other side, it's literally exploding into what's called Cherienko ra radiation, which is a, a high-frequency um, atomic white radiation that's ca caused by uh, highly accelerated particles hitting uh, a, a denser material. And, and, and that causes that effect. Now, I'm, this is just unbelievable. Now, you see this compression? This is a recompression wave. It's hitting here and it's compressing itself backwards. And, and it's throwing off some other frequencies out this way that are, are just can't force themselves through here. This is utter chaos. And that's a laser coming through here, hitting there, and having to force itself through and it, li it appears to be liquid. Light appears to be liquid. And our feeling, well, it's really it's my theory, is that, that light itself is, is just energy. And when it's in outer space, it's dark energy because it's just a spinning electron. And, uh, and it has nothing to react with to, to illuminate itself. So as it is this little energy packet that's spinning through space, uh, looking to, to collide with something that has a nucleus, that, that it can collide with the electron cloud and literally bounce off the, uh, the, the, the molecules and atoms to, to re-radiate colors and heat and light and so forth. Uh, but in space, it's dark energy. We know it's emitted from stars. We know it was energy there. We know it has to be energy in space. It can't be not energy and then become energy again. So it's dark energy. So that's the theory. All right, this is the picture uh, that they had showing on this uh, new light discovered. Well, we've also got pictures very, very similar to them. All right, this is one of Rodney's shots. Now, the ones they're showing apparently were inside of water and, and so forth. These are in, in flight inside of the atmosphere. No water. You see how they start off? How, and this is through that Venturi slit again. 
and they start off in a in a uh, uncompressed form and as they in, in a higher energy state and as they trail off they begin to compress and the the, the brightness that starts to dip away and you can see it's spinning it's uh it's it's spinning in this manner and it's the next one's a little slower a little slower, a little slower and it, it trails off and then they compress as they go forward so these are what we're considering lengths of light this appears to be uh, the wave propagation. These appear to be little tiny <laughs> electrons or something. They, they look exactly like those little um, um, atomic symbols from the 50s. If you can see, they, they have a spike sticking up from the top and sticking down the bottom. Very strange. It's another shot Rodney got. And these are all in the open. This is not, there's nothing coming through water here. These little particles were caught in the uh, in a red red one we had the green ones now we have the red ones and everybody knows about this this is the, the slit experiments they're talking about double slit and they call it a wave interference and all this business well they always show it as 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 water because light is literally liquid this is taken from above directly above the slit the Venturi slit and you can see it's coming out of here in absolute chaos slowing down starting to go into from the whites into the yellows into the and you got purples and blues and all that this is the frequencies of light this is what it is the different frequencies create different lights and as it comes into the unrestricted space which is the slow down space it turns into these purples and yellows and so forth and it starts to get back into its red and it starts to create its normal spins and I'll show you some more of the spins this one is through particulates in the air I believe and this is how they show it with water same sort of situation now this is how they show it with water now this is the same sort of situation as we're showing the only thing is that we are not showing just the crest we're showing the whole disk of the light because we are not on a surface we are in actual atmosphere and these are those disks that you just saw only we're seeing them all once again there you have it this is what you saw in that water pattern these flip 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 but you're just seeing the surface of them we're seeing the depth of them because we are in the atmosphere the shots he gets are mind blowing. I don't I don't know how he does it, but they're they're amazing. And I, I work strictly on the theory side. He does the experiments and, and he's got a whole nother train of thought that he's going through and he's having a hard time proving what he's seeing and I and I have no way to prove it. And I have no way to prove even what I'm saying. I'm just saying that this is what it appears to be, that vortex particles appear to be light. And light appears to be dark energy transiting through space until it turns into light energy when it collides with matter that has nucleuses in it. That's all. This is all I can tell you. That's what it seems to be. This is the reaction of most people. 